Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to take you guys, I'm going to a massive flea market. It's in Canton, Texas and I believe they said it's like the biggest flea market in the world. Um, and I am super excited to go. This is my first time going. Um, so yeah, I'm finally close enough to go and make it a day trip. Um, so I wanted to take you guys along with me and kind of show you what I found. The things that I'm looking for in particular are like kind of wall decor for my plant room that I'm putting up. So that's like gold frames, mirrors, just random kind of antique vintage things. Um, and then also there's a lot of plant booths here and I'm super excited to see what they have because I know there's one seller in particular called the Tipsy Gardener um, that I follow on Instagram and she always sets up here and she always has a lot of like rare and uncommon finds at her booth so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, I'm really just going to be taking videos of what I see there not really like talking during it or anything just because i'm too self-conscious for that but yeah i hope you guys enjoy and let's see if we can find some good stuff so i parked on the far side by um, a bunch of like trailer parks of people like camping there i assume and this was one of the first buildings i came to and this was absolutely packed with different vendors um it was mostly uh a lot of jewelry and kind of like uh, there's a lot of knife booths and gun booths and you know all the typical stuff that you think you find in Texas There was this cool stand for Pokemon cards and my fourth grade self totally nerded out um, And then outside there was even more which I didn't really think it could get much bigger These couple booths right here were where I found the most of my stuff. They had a lot of just old pictures um, Unfortunately, this is where I did not bring cash, so I wasn't able to get as many as I wanted. Some of them were obviously pretty, um, you know, kids craft and that sort of stuff, but you're gonna find that anyways. And hey, some, some kid might want that for their room. Um, there was just a bunch of kind of random sites all over the place. There was a bunch of metal art, you know, that you could put in your front yard, like little sculptural pieces and all that sort of stuff. Um, some of my favorite booths though, were actually these crystal booths and I just I'm a sucker for like cool looking rocks I don't really know anything about crystals or their supposed properties that some people um, believe in and you know utilize um, I just like pretty rocks and these were absolutely incredible there was so many um, they were very very pricey and it was kind of a random find in one of the random like uh, trading arbor things that they had up. I believe there's like three sections of like trading posts and this was in one of them and they had just a bunch of cool rocks mounted on these little pedestals and stuff and I really wanted to take some home. Um, there's some Labradorite, a lot of geodes, amethysts, all that sort of stuff. Um, they were just all so pretty and honestly if I was rich I probably would have bought up the entire booth because it was just incredible. Um, I probably could have haggled some of the prices down but that's just not me and I'm not very good at that. There was a couple there um, while I was looking that definitely were haggling their way into significantly lower prices so I wish I could be them but that was just not how I was feeling that day because this was towards the end of my trip anyways. Um, so I was a bit tired and I just could not bring myself to uh, try to bargain down the prices so I could take some of these home, but they were really, really pretty. And this was honestly the highlight of my trip. This is the Tipsy Gardener's booth, and I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, I'm not sure why it did that. The lights were super strong though, so that might actually be why my camera did this. But as you can see, they had so many alocasia. They had lots of pilea. Um, there's some monstera in the front. Lots of succulents that I kind of just glazed over because I'm not a massive succulent person. Um, I just never have been. I can't really keep them alive right now very well, I guess. Um, they did have some like sombreros for their succulents, which was really cool and fun. Then they had a load of rattlesnake calatheas, which I've never gotten. I probably should, but I just haven't gotten them yet. And then up there on that second shelf, you can see those are the variegated maranta um, that I really love. And then lots of other calathea that I just didn't really bother with because I knew what I was looking for and I hadn't seen it yet. Um, lots of Hoya, not as much as I think like would have thought they had. Um, and then they of course had black velvet alocasia and then a different kind of alocasia that apparently was really popular with people and it's harder to find, but I don't know about it. And then some alocasia zebrina, um, which were really cool looking and I might actually get some next month if they have some. Um, if I feel like getting alocasia. These were some really pretty jewel orchids. I did think they were a bit expensive for what I've seen them be. And then back here was the star, the silver striped philodendron, um, tiny four inch pots, and then tons of micans um, and cebu blue, which a couple months ago I probably would have gone crazy for, but I actually recently got those, so I wasn't too fussed. 
some Ethereum fingers, which were super cute. And then more Hoya. There's a begonia back there. I don't remember the name. It just always looks so like alien and cool to me. And then of course the Monstera dubia, which are also super cool as well. Um, I just don't have the space for a climbing plant like that yet. And then I'm sorry the light got really bright up there because it was right next to lights. Um, but this was the biggest pot of string of turtles I've ever seen. It was so healthy. And then they had these massive pots of Skindapsis exotica, which were really pretty and really heavy. Um, they had a lot of really big pots of uh, Hoya. And then of course some Mykins. Um, but yeah, these Hoya were absolutely huge and kind of just going crazy. And then they did have these little propagation vases. And I, again, apologize for the lighting, but these were actually some pretty good prices for the little propagations that they had. There was just like some Adansonii, um, Skindapsis Exotica. They had one with like a massive right there, Monstera cutting. Um, they were super cool though. They had some like cream splash and everything. And then they had a bunch of cool rocks or crystals, whatever you want to call them. I think they're just rocks, but um, they were super cool and I really debated getting some, but I just wish some of them were like maybe a bit bigger and less expensive. Um, but I mean, they were really cool and I, like I said, probably would have loaded up if I had more time. Um, they had lots of pothos and everything was just so incredibly healthy looking. So it was just an easy choice to buy from her. Um, definitely probably going to be one of my first stops the next time I go as well. There was just so much to choose from and honestly something for everybody. In these sections I wasn't super like into. I think she had some like aglaonema over there and some dishidia. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure, but they had a lot of different things to choose from. Okay, I'm back home now and it was actually, <laughs> there was so much stuff there. And I didn't film even a portion of it. I actually just got way too excited and I forgot to film a lot of it. So I just, what I included is kind of my favorite things that I saw there. Um, but they had lots of just antique type stuff. It was basically like one big thrift store. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I need to wear definitely comfier shoes next time. I wore sandals and just wear tennis shoes if you go. And then also if you go, Make sure you bring like a little cart um, just because I ended up carrying everything that I got and I just, I wasn't planning on getting a ton of stuff. So maybe that's why I didn't even think of it, but everybody else there was smarter than me and had little like carts or wagons and stuff like that. So definitely bring something like that so you can carry whatever you find. But I did get a couple things and we're gonna do a sort of like little haul right now for you. So the first thing I got was a couple of rings just because I'm a, I'm a real sucker for like um, little like gem rings and stuff. So let me get closer so I can show you these. This was the first one. It's just got a really like sparkly orange brown kind of stone in it. I don't know what kind because I just, I'm not knowledgeable enough about that stuff. I thought it was really pretty and cute and whatever and I just need more rings. Then I got this one as well and it's just like a little green one. Once again, I don't know what kind it is, um, but I got both of those for $5. So I don't know, cheap rings, I love them. Um, one thing as well is make sure you bring cash because I was dumb and didn't just because I didn't think of it because it was such like a last minute decision to go today. So I didn't have much cash on hand, but most of the vendors prefer cash. Um, so make sure you do bring cash with you. And then quickly for the like home decor stuff, I didn't find as much as I was hoping to be honest. I was hoping to find like some cute prints or something like that. Just like, you know, like antique vintage thrift store type finds. Um, and there definitely could have been some there. I just maybe didn't search long and hard enough for it. Um, yeah, I just needed to get home so I didn't have the time to keep walking around and I've got blisters on my feet so I just did not have the ability to keep walking around and looking for all that stuff but I did find a couple things. The first one is this little mirror and it's just like a little brass kind of gold colored mirror. Um, super light. Yeah, just cute. I thought it would look nice. It doesn't need to be cleaned up obviously because it's been outside all day but that's totally fine. And then the other one, I don't even know what it is, but it's this little like plastic gold thing with like roses in the middle and stuff. And I thought that would be cute as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I'm just kind of looking for gold stuff to put in this room. Um, so yeah, that's that. And if you want to see it like hung up and everything, um, I'm gonna do that bit of the video that I'm doing for like this entire room makeover type video. So that's gonna be in there eventually whenever that comes out. And then the last couple things that I got were actually plants because like I said, I was going partially to go see the tipsy gardener in her stand um, just because I had seen her on Instagram and I had lived too far away, like a couple hours away to like actually make the trip. 
but I was able to go today and I got two plants from her. The first one is one that I've been wanting for a very long time, but it's just been hard to come by um, a full pot of it but it's a variegated rabbit's foot marantha. And um, they had about three or four of them when I went there, but this one was the most variegated and just my favorite in terms of all the variegation. Um, I hope I can bring out more of the variegation because there's not a ton on some of the leaves, but we'll see what we can do with that. Um, and then I'll get closer and give you a closer look at it. Kind of dark, I apologize, but as you can see, this big leaf here has some really pretty variegation on it. Um, and then this one too. I just, I mean, all of them really have a lot of like really pretty variegation. Um, there's one stem in particular, if I can find it, that has really, really variegated leaves right here. Um, and this was only $15. So I was super excited because some people I see selling cuttings of variegated Maranta for like $15, whereas this is a full pot of it. Um, so yeah, and like I said, this is one that's been on my wish list for ages. So I just snatched it up as soon as I saw it. And then the other one that I got, here's the other one I got. It's a Monstera. I mean, you all know what a Monstera is, but sorry. It's a Monstera and it's a really good size Monstera. Um, and it's just really, really healthy looking. So I'm super happy about that. I actually ended up using this as a little umbrella while I was walking around because it was super sunny. Um, unfortunately, I could show you this uh, tip right here got a bit sunburnt in the car, which I was trying to avoid, but it just, I don't know, the angle hit it somewhere where it did actually end up getting a bit sunburnt, if you can see it all here. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to cut that off, which is a shame because it's a pretty big leaf and I don't like cutting off big leaves. Um, also, I can see on the pot, <laughs> the roots are like starting to wrap around a bit. So I might have to repot it soon um, into a bigger pot but it was only $24 and Monstera this size are like seldom less than 30 where I'm at. And I know 24 isn't much less than 30, but whenever I do see them, they're not like super healthy. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen a Monstera of this size that wasn't even as healthy for like $40 at the cheapest at my local nurseries. So I was super excited. They had a ton of these. Um, they also had a bunch of cream splash cuttings and like silver stripe cuttings. And they have usually like a couple big hanging baskets of silver stripe or cream splash. But I feel like those go really, really quickly because um, they were already gone today. So I saw like maybe four little plants of silver stripe and those were about $28 for a four inch. Um, which is actually a good price considering how much people usually sell cuttings of those for. Um, but yeah, I passed on those because I already have a silver stripe and I do need to take cuttings from it. Um, and I actually probably would have gotten one if I didn't get the Maranta and this Monstera. But yeah, so they have a lot of good plants and they all look super, super healthy. Another one that I almost got actually was their Jewel Orchid. Um, just because they're really pretty. They've got those like pink stripes and everything. They're just really pretty plants. Um, but again, I had to pass just because I didn't want to spend too much money. Um, but yeah, I'm super pleased with the quality of these plants and I hope they do well in my house. So those are all the things I got today. Like I said, it wasn't much and I'm sorry that I didn't include a whole lot of video with it, but it, it was really overwhelming. It was my first time going and it just, I forgot to film a lot of it. I am going, I think next month, just because this is a monthly thing, I will probably go again. Um, so if you guys are interested, I can film more of that. Um, I just, like I said, I totally spaced today. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed what I did film and what I did find. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.